This is an instrumentation amplifier. It configures, uh, it consists rather of uh, three op amps, two which are unity gain buffers, and one which is a plain differential amplifier. So let's uh, take a moment and see how this works and why we use it. First of all, we see that uh, there are no resistors around the first amplifiers. And what that means is if this amplifier is working correctly, Inverting and non-inverting input should have the same voltage. So this voltage over here is voltage in one, and this is voltage in two. That means that this likewise at this point is voltage in two, which comes out of the amplifier. In two. And this input voltage in one is the same voltage which comes out here. So this configuration is called a unity mean buffer. Now one might wonder why would you want an amplifier with a gain of one? Well the reason is because the inputs go directly to the op amp, they have extremely low input currents. And notice that there are no resistors to ground or to anywhere else that can uh, draw current off. So this is very high impedance. Very high Z in. This over here is just an ordinary differential amplifier. And if you remember the basic equation of a differential amplifier, particularly when the input resistors are the same and the feedback and the resistor to ground are the same, it's actually quite simple. The gain of the circuit is simply going to be the voltage at the coming into the non-inverting input is going to be voltage 2 minus the voltage coming into the inverting input, voltage 1, times the gain of the circuit, which is the feedback resistor times the input resistor, divided by the feedback resistor, divided by the input resistor. So this is what VO equals. And if you want to, you can verify through that for yourself pipeline uh, seven serum in this branch, and then in this branch, and then setting these two voltages equal. So at first you may wonder, what is the purpose of this amplifier? Well, because it has a very high gain, this is useful as an instrumentation amplifier, a special kind of amplifier. For example, you note that uh, if you are measuring the voltage across the resistor with some sort of meter, that uh, you put probe on one end, and then you put a probe on the other end, that in order for this meter to respond to any voltage across the resistor which is caused by a current flowing through it, that a very tiny amount of that current has to be leaked into the meter in order for the meter to respond. So you want this current to be very, very small. And the only way that can be made very small is if the input impedance here in the meter is made very high. And this is the circuit that will do it. So this is the circuit which is found at the front end of things like your multimeters or an instrument. So hence it's called an instrumentation meter because it doesn't leak very much current out of the circuit, and you get a much better accurate measurement. Now, there is a variation of this circuit that I'd like to uh, take a minute to uh, show you as well. 